If you want to be more efficient and effective while running your business with more inner peace than working on the core of your issues instead of putting on a band-aid is vital. Welcome to the Business Brain Podcast. I'm your host, SD Rapport, and here to help you improve your 28 cognitive functions, the 28 things that make up thinking. In each episode, we'll discuss a real life challenge, why you might be struggling with it, and give you practical strategies so all areas of your life will improve. As a facilitator, Michelle would often lead intense three-day transformative workshops for big companies. By the end of it, she would just need some space to decompress. However, no matter how many times she blocked out time for herself, she always found herself being dragged into family obligations or other urgent work. This led her to crash a few days later, putting on massive strains on her relationships, her business, and making her feel like a complete failure as her whole world would just come crashing crashing down. By improving one thinking skill, her brain saw the situation slightly differently and she was able to take action so that way her business and her life can run smoothly. If you're experiencing something similar, I'm here to tell you, you do not have to struggle forever. In this episode, episode 452 of the Business Spray Podcast, I'm going to share with you the exact steps of what you can do to have your own transformation. But first, one is super easy to understand then super easy to implement resource and cognitive functions i've got you grab a copy of your essential guide to cognitive functions at lifepeaksuniversity.com forward slash guide while you are doing any tasks you without even realizing it are using your 28 thinking skills when the thinking skills you need to use are strong doing the task happens easily the thinking skills you need to use are weak doing the task will be a challenge the struggle michelle had came from a weak thinking skill of understanding reality. Understanding reality is as simple and as complex as it sounds. It's about understanding reality. It's an abstract thinking skill, making it one that many people, especially people with ADHD, really struggle with. I like to think about it as relationships. What happens when? Or cause and effect. Reality is when it rains outside, you're going to get wet unless you have something to protect yourself like an umbrella or a raincoat. Reality is if I only eat donuts all day, every day, I'm going to feel really sick and really nauseous. Simple enough, right? Reality is, if I want to grow my email list, I need to let more people know about it. Reality is, when I lead three-day intense workshops, it requires me to talk for at least eight hours a day, to be friendly and kind to people all day, to hold space for strong emotions that by the end of it, my body and brain just need some space to decompress. There's nothing wrong with it. It's simply a about understanding reality. Once we understand the reality, we can take the action accordingly and we can decide, okay, my brain needs space afterwards. So maybe I'm going to book a night in a hotel so that way I can have space to decompress away from other people. Or maybe I can find ways to make the training less draining. Maybe I can hire someone to do parts of the workshop. We can only come up with effective solutions once we understand what the reality actually is. The point is your brain needs to understand that reality. Then we can think about steps moving forward. So to improve this thinking skill of understanding reality, you want to start looking out for cause and effect. You can ask yourself or even journal these types of questions. What happens when? Or where has this happened previously? What went right? What went wrong? Because I did this, it caused that. Questions that will help you understand reality. You can use emotions as a really good sign to stop and think and ask yourself questions about the situation. If I've been up all night with a screaming baby, reality is your brain won't work as well in the morning. It hasn't gotten sleep. Trying to do work that requires real concentration will only leave you frustrated. Instead of feeling like you're crazy or you can't get any work done, help your brain see the cause and effect. Help your brain see the reality so it can come up with a helpful solution. I know it sounds so simple on words, but for some reason, when it comes to practical life, often our brain really struggles to understand this until we are conscious of it. So help your brain help you. Ask yourself these sort of questions till your brain gets in the habit of doing it automatically.
Your challenge this week is to help yourself understand reality better. Every time you're feeling frustrated or trying to figure out a solution to move forward, use it as an opportunity to understand what is going on. Ask yourself questions like what happens when, where has this happened previously, what went right previously, what went wrong previously, etc. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. That's all for this episode of the Business Brain Podcast. If you enjoyed it, please share it with two of your business friends so they too can gain from it and you'll be helping us reach our goal of 1 million downloads by the end of 2025. Cheers to peak brain performance.